Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch working on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September 7th, I think. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm trying to let my hair grow out. Have you guys noticed it's getting a lot longer? <laughs> it's hard because it's really thick and I got a lot of it. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about today. Let me get my notes. Today I started a new pattern this morning for Miss June Bug. I don't know if you can see it, but every night my cow sneaks in her bedroom and licks her hair. She has care look at every night. I think it's from where she sweats. Um, because I, I brush her hair. And yesterday, you know, after we gave her a bath, I brushed her hair. I try to remember to brush it after bath because if not, it'll be... <laughs> So, um, but look at that. You got a cow lick. I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> but it's there. Anyways, start a new project for June for this fall, and it's a hat, <laughs> and it's a really cute hat, but it's called the Crochet Acorn Baby Hat by Lakeview Cottage Kids. I'll leave the links down below. You can purchase it on Ravelry, or you can go to their website, and it's free. The only issue is it's only in two sizes. It's zero to three months and three to six months which she is obviously older than. So I did alter it a little bit. I did uh, increase one more time to, I think, 52 stitches. And I'm hoping that will be enough. Because I think so. Give me some slack. No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it. Should I should have increased it one more time. Come here, give me a hand. There. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of that? Sorry. But anyways, so I'm using Red Heart, uh, it's a worsted weight, um, coffee. And this is, I love this yarn, Toasted Almond, I think is that what it is. Um, and then there's also going to be green leaves that I got to make. So I need to do, a, uh, let's see here, I did three. So I need to do, I think, four or five more rows of this light color brown. And then make the leaves and put them on there. I probably should have increased one more time. I don't know. But, um... Worst case scenario, if it doesn't fit her, I can make another one and then uh, just give this one to someone who has a smaller baby or, you know, we'll have a baby next year, whatever. So yeah, but I'm using a G-hook. The one I'm using, I think, is a 4.5 millimeter, but there's also a G-hook that's a 4 millimeter. <laughs> so I, I did use the bigger one because I knew I needed to make it a little bit bigger. I thought about using the H-hook also, but I didn't want the holes to be too big. But you start up here uh, with double crochets and then you switch to single crochets and then you gotta make the leaves. So I'm working on that. I started it just a little while ago and then I ended up having to make lunch and stuff. So uh, I probably can finish this up today sometime at some point. <laughs> and um, then when I get done with that, I wanna work on my, bless you, times two. I wanna work on um, my Halloween uh, countdown. I worked on it a little bit last night. I got, I think three or four rows in it. So I'm getting there, I need, um, I think eight or seven, seven or eight more rows and then the background will be done. And then I'm hoping that the pockets and all that will fly by. Today I was, I'm making a list of all the numbers that I need for the pockets because I'm going to see if my sister will make them on her Cricut out of felt so I can just glue them on the pockets. Um, I need 13 ones, 13 twos, five threes, and three, four, five, six, sevens, eights, nines, and zeros <laughs> to make all the numbers from one to 31. Uh, to put on those little pockets. So, anyways, that's what I was working on last night. I did add yellow today. I started working on the moon. I mean, last night when I was working on it. So, it's getting there. I'm, I'm hoping to get it done in the next few days, the background. And then I'm hoping the pockets will go quick because they're, they're little squares. I think there's one rectangle. And then um, there's a couple of appliques to decorate it. And then it'll be done. And then I'll have to go to somewhere and get a a dowel to hang it on. <laughs> um, Walmart used to sell dowels, but now they don't have that little thing in the craft section anymore. So I'll probably have to go to like Lowe's or somewhere. Cause I know, and you can go to a craft store, but it's more expensive to get a small one. You can go to Lowe's and get a, like an eight or 12 foot. I can't remember what size it is. It's a really big one for just a couple bucks. So I'll probably do that and then I'll have extra. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday is this acorn hat which is adorable. <laughs> Check it out. The pattern will be linked below. It's easy to alter to make any size hat. I guess you wanted. Um, and then a Halloween thing. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys are working on today and feel free to share any links and things like that. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another video. I think it's a happy mo video I got planned. I got my list of videos right here. <laughs> um, it's a little bug finder. Yeah, I got a happy mo for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then, I guess. <laughs> Bye guys.